Well, we are about ready to kick this thing off. The reason why we have the delay in this start is because of the uh, previous game, the start. So, jumping center for Egypt. Misses quickly into transition. Egypt on jump shot, short. Mohammed Taha Ibrahim Mohammed. But he's got Mido on the back of his jersey, and that's what we're calling him. And Morea hits the jump shot. Now on the right, Marais hits the jump shot, falling down. So he gets the three right back. And the long shot is no good. So Angola now with possession, a chance to get closer. It's all about defense, isn't it? Get up in the face, be disruptive. Nice pass. Oh, what a play from Moore. Beautiful. And Moraes gets inside. Oh, are they going to count it? That was just an explosive move. Boy, Carlos Moraes, he's seen it all, hasn't he? 32 years of age. And makes the free throw, so it's a three-point play. Kalafa way downtown. And Leno Paolo gets the rebound. This could be it. They're going to tie it. Are they going to take the take the lead? Oh, the ball got away from Lionel Paolo, but he was able to get it back. Carlos Moraes says, look out. I'm coming in. Bounce pass. Moraes for the dunk. A little bit of facial on Orabi. And now Angola have a chance to take the lead. Don't celebrate too much. You got a basketball game to play. Here you go. Oh, but he took some contact there. That was a powerful dunk. Marais for three. Good. So Angola can take the lead. Both games I've played here today have Seem like they've been pretty long, taking a while to finish. This one could go to overtime as well. You never know. Morais hits the three-pointer. Angola back in front. Hey, they had fouls to give. Okay, no, they're just going to set up there with 4.8 seconds left. That's <laughs> strange. But surely you want to try to get some points in case of down the road you need some more points. But anyway, 68-64, Angola have come from behind. Uh, well, I mean, it wasn't a huge deficit, but they were playing from behind for much of the game. you got to tip your hat to Egypt. They're outstanding. And let's just hope that Egypt uh, and the coaching staff can – can let this one go because don't don't ruin what was what was a great night for international basketball.